we'll be able to understand how the Earth works in increasing detail with increasing accuracy. So I'm Lindsay Shainbaum. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemical and Physical Sciences, and my specialty is Earth Sciences, and in particular what I do is called tectonic geomorphology. So tectonics is how the mountains grow, geomorphology is how they get torn back down, and I'm looking at that interplay. I think that um, Earth science-related issues are the most press pressing issues in the world today. Climate change, resources, uh, and hazards. And it's important to have the Earth science perspective, the sort of natural sciences perspective on these problems, but that's not enough to solve these problems. We also have to understand the social and the human dimensions of these problems in order to come up with policy that works. My name is Andrea Müllerbach and I am um, an Associate Professor of Anthropology at the University of Toronto Mississauga campus. Because this is a question also about the planet and the planetary, that means also that sociocultural anthropology has always really also been uh, interested in how um, different human societies relate to the planet and to nature in different ways. I think we should study the planetary environmental crisis from all the disciplinary perspectives um, because this is a problem that is um, made by humans and therefore I think we should put the human in some ways uh, at the centre of this. Um, at the same time, we always need to look at social problems holistically, that is to say, across disciplines. Uh, my name is Kevin Coleman. I'm an Associate Professor of History at the University of Toronto, Mississauga, and I study uh, capitalism in Latin America and through visual archives. Over the past couple of decades, scholars have begun to talk about the Anthropocene. Another group of scholars more recently has come along and said, well, the Anthropocene is not actually the right way of talking about this epoch of this geological epoch because the driver is not the anthropos or human beings in general it's a particular way of organizing nature and society a way that is driven by capital and, and a logic of accumulation another aspect of this capital scene is this sort of image world that we live in. Um, the acceleration of images, the movement of images, and that how that keeps the, the engine of consumption burning. So what I'm seeing right now is, is really amazing. We are able to look at the Earth's surface and model it in better detail. And I see that only increasing as our computers get better uh, and as we make use of things like AI and machine learning. This really is a moment of, I think, the economic and the political and the ethical and the moral imagination. And we and our students are putting our heads together to think not just about crisis, but also about the otherwise, uh, how one can, can imagine something different. They may be the generation that, that exercises, that organizes, and creates a political will to confront some of these major issues that we are facing. It's not a question of, is it happening? It's, what can we do about it? And so I see us at the cusp of sort of a new understanding of how the Earth works, and that brings us to a, a better place in order to solve the problems that we're facing as a society. That was good.